Good morning, worshipers of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Minutes with Jesus. We are pushing right along to Genesis chapter 20. Congratulations, you have made it to Genesis chapter 20. Anywho, aren't you so happy it is the weekend? Hallelujah. For all those people who a weekend means something, thank you, Jesus. All right, let's pray. Jesus, as we read Genesis chapter 20, please speak to us, Lord, anything you need us to notice. Amen. Abraham and Abimelech. Now Abraham moved on from there into the region, into the Negev, and lived between Kadesh and Shur. For a while, he stayed in Gagar, and there Abraham said to his wife Sarah, she is my sister. Then Abimelech, king of Gerar sent for Sarah and took her. But God came to Abimelech in a dream one night and said to him, You are as good as dead because of the woman you have taken. She is a married woman. Now Abimelech had not gone near her, so he said, Lord, will you destroy an innocent nation? Did he not say to me, she is my sister, and did she also say, he is my brother? I have done this with a clear conscience and clear hands. Now God said to him in a dream, yes, I know you did this with a clear conscience, and so I have kept you from sinning against me. That is why I did not let you touch her. Now return the man's wife. For he is a prophet, and he will pray for you, and you will live. But if you do not return her, you may be sure that you and all yours will die. Early the next morning, Abimelech summoned all of his officials. When he told them all that had happened, they were very much afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham in and said, What have you done? to us. How have I wronged you that you have brought such great guilt upon me and my kingdom? You have done things to me that should not be done. And Abimelech asked Abraham, what was your reason for doing this? Abraham replied, I said to myself, there is surely no fear of God in this place, and they will kill me because of my wife, because she really is my sister, the daughter of my father, though not of my mother, and she became my wife, and when God had me wander from the father's house, I said to her, this is how you can show your love to me, wherever we go, say of me. He is my brother. Then Abimelech brought sheep and cattle and male and female slaves and gave them to Abraham. And he returned Sarah, his wife, to him. And Abimelech said, My land is before you. Live wherever you like. To Sarah, he said, I am giving your brother a thousand shekels of silver. This is to cover the offense against you. Before all who are with you, you are completely vindicated. Then Abraham prayed to God, and God healed Abimelech, his wife, and his slave girls, so they could have children again. For the Lord had closed up every womb in Abimelech's household because of Abraham's wife. Isn't that just amazing? To me, that just blows my mind because Abraham sinned, he lied. I know it was like a white lie because, you know, he's the half-sister and everything, but a lie is a lie. He just was caring about his life, didn't want to die, and didn't care that he was giving his wife to be a wife of, you know, it's just a whole mess. But what I love here is that, you know, Abraham was leaving these places because he was in obedience of God. But that didn't take away his fear, his fear for his life, even though he was being led by the Lord where he was going. And in fear, he lied, and he told his wife to lie. Yet God still protected him. And that's to encourage you all today. Sometimes we get scared, especially in the Lord's calling over your life. 
and sometimes we get desperate like oh my gosh finances aren't coming in or oh my gosh you know this is just too scary this is just too hard and you, you just get desperate you try to find your own solutions and know this in every solution that God has for your life none of it is sinning against him so in any situation that you're in and as hard as it may be don't worry just continue obeying what God has in his word don't sin against him in fear or or in anxiousness or in desperation for a solution trust him Abraham went here to this place being led by the Spirit of God knowing that he had to leave his household but in fear he sinned don't let that be you God has your back and even if you do fall don't fear that God won't protect you or get you out of it when you are chosen when you are led by him and wherever you're going he will take care of you let's pray Jesus I ask that your strength will be with every person who is listening to this message Lord you know what they go through on a daily basis you know if they're struggling to discern where you need them to go you know everything father so I just ask that you will be with them that you help them to be strong against temptation and that you will bless them Jesus thank you so much for what we read today amen have a blessed day worshipers of Jesus Christ